Well, the CDC says simple cloth masks could actually help slow the spread of the virus. We're not talking about surgical masks or N95s, just something basic you could even make at home. Anchor Susanna Black shows us one simple way to create your own mask. There are a ton of plans on the internet about how to make your own face mask at home. So I'm setting out to try and find the easiest one. And I really like the one we have on our website, WSOCTV.com. You really only need a couple of things. First is a bandana or a finished piece of cloth and a couple of hair ties. I don't have a bandana or a piece of cloth, so I'm actually gonna take this old pillowcase and cut it to about the size that the woman uses in the video. So let's see how this goes. After cutting the pillowcase into a square, I folded the top and bottom into the middle, flipped it over, then repeated that step again. Flip it one more time, then slide your hair ties onto each end of the fabric. The last step is to fold your ends into the middle. Okay, this is our finished mask and it was so simple to make. It took me less than two minutes and it looks really nice too. So let's try it on. That's great. And this just goes to show that you can make one at home too without having to go to the store. Now, wearing a mask is a CDC recommendation. It's voluntary and not mandatory. Mandatory. There's more than one way to make these masks. We posted a couple of how-to videos on the WSOC app under the Tracking Coronavirus tab.